Hi guys, Steph here. Welcome to day 15 of Vlogmas. It's Tuesday, December 15th. I'm doing a terrible job of vlogging. You guys already know that, but I want to show you. I'm working right now, but I, I'm getting a quick bite to eat. I made myself some avocado toast with smoked trout. I just made this idea up in my mind because I was raiding my fridge and my pantry, and I had guacamole. So it's not real avocado. It's, a, it's guacamole. It's real avocado, but you know. I had sourdough bread, so I toasted it, put some garlic olive oil on it, put some of the guacamole on it, green onions, capers, and then I put smoked trout from Trader Joe's, the canned one, I love it, and uh, some sea salt, red pepper flakes, and s lemon. So hopefully it's good. I was gonna make a prosciutto variant because I have prosciutto in my fridge, but I decided not to put one whole can of smoked trout on one toast. That just seemed kind of not smart, but. All right, let's try it. Oh, I can show myself trying it. What if it's not good? What if I try it and I'm like, ugh, this is terrible. Hold on, I'll turn my heat around so now it's hot. This, the bread's probably soggy by now because I put so much oil and lemon. That's not too bad. Okay, let's see. Mmm. I was ready to put too much um, guacamole because I had these like three pouches and I wanted to try to use up as much as I could because I didn't want it to go bad. I probably could put a little bit more. I would say maybe ex native capers. They always bring an interesting flavor and potentially more trout. The garlic olive oil is pretty good. Mm. The heat from the red pepper flakes is also very good. Oh, cute. Don't eat my trout. I definitely put too much garlic olive oil on some parts of the bread because I didn't, I couldn't figure out how to pour it. Mmm. I would say this is a success. I would just it's delicious with avocado and then prosciutto, minus the uh, capers, of course. I thought I had too much lemon. I think I easily could add more lemon to this, to be honest. I really like lemon, though. Okay. This is delicious. I'm gonna, I don't really think I need to eat this much, but it'll be my lunch. I'm gonna eat, my computer is updating. That's why I took a, a lunch break, because my computer was updating itself. So I'm gonna let that finish, and then we'll keep going with work. Yay, work. Hello, guys. Okay, here's the thing. I'm struggling so hard right now with work. I just, I feel like I, you know when you get like, it's like writer's block. Like I'm supposed to be writing stuff, and my mind is just like, it can't do it. So I'm going to, I've been struggling all day, so I'm gonna switch gears, because I think I just, I've, I'm not gonna say I've hit my limit. I just feel like I've hit the point where I'm like, and nothing's gonna fix it right now. So what I'm gonna do is, so tomorrow we have our staff. It's not a party because we can't do parties, right? We usually do an end of the year like gathering, and since we can't do that, we have an end of the year Zoom call for. It's me and 26 other people. Uh, they're like my coworkers, right? And I was in charge of like kind of creating all the different games, and so. I was gonna try to create some like random games. I was gonna do like trivia or like who has it, and we've we've done all those games before um, on on this uh, on Zoom calls. Sorry, during our Zoom calls, but I thought it'd be fun. And, and this is kind of like intense, and the meeting's technically only for an hour, so I don't know exactly like how to make this work quickly. But I want to try to do a big group zoom game of white elephant because that is one of my go-to i love playing white elephant and so i mean it can be quick and it can be slow so it really just depends right and so now i'm looking around at my house like okay because we have i think we have eight gifts already and i was gonna get a couple gift cards so that's easy and now i'm just like okay so i like went and i pulled out like random funko pops right things that i feel like might relate to somebody. So you have like one anime, your Power Rangers, that's a little bit old school. You have something from The Office, you have something from Big Bang Theory, you have Rocket from Marvel, you have something from South Park. And not all the gifts necessary, you know why elephant gifts. Not everything necessary has to be like really, really good, right? You want some gifts that are kind of like, oh, that's funny, or like, like I was gonna see if I have any brand new laundry detergent. Or like, I think downstairs I have a bag of like brand new Tide Pods. Because, look, we're all like working professionals. Who doesn't need some Tide Pods, right? So like, 
it's like things like that. So there'll be a bunch of, because I actually did that one time with my staff where we did a white elephant and I, I wanted to do two rounds. So I went and bought an extra round of gifts and it was like, it was like Tide detergent. It was like random things. And so I think I can scrounge up enough random things in my house right now. Like what if one was just like one brand new container of Clorox wipes? Not all three, just one. Right? And then we did like... I don't know like something I think I can figure this out I'm gonna make this work this is gonna be great like this brand new salad dressing I got you guys I call this the penis dressing it's so good though it tastes like the miso sesame dressing that you get uh, in Japanese markets oh look like I actually need this but I could put this container of um, disc detergent but I, I actually I actually need that oh my god cube Jesus cube Oh crap. Whoa, I have packages. Oh, this is a mystery box. I got this mystery box on Black Friday from Plastic Empire. It was hell of expensive. Probably shouldn't have gotten that, but I did. This is some beef jerky from our local beef jerky guy. He makes beef jerky and I buy it from him and he's making it fresh now. I'm very excited. Here, let me show you guys. This guy, usually I can get it right away. This one took a few days because he said he's making them fresh, but look at that. Yeah. I need some other snacks other than chips because all I've been doing is eating chips and that's not good. So, okay. I think this is gonna be good. I feel good about this. I feel good about this. Hey guys, I'm eating the baby jerky. Although, this one's not as hot as it usually is, but I think that's better. Cause before the old one was like actually really spicy and I would always eat it before night and I feel like it'd give me heartburn. Okay, let me show you guys. I think I figured this out. I have created a selection of 30 gifts. And so actually the first four gifts my boss has, she put those ones together, but they're super random and super like, like there's Funko Pops. So obviously there's stuff for my collection. There's this is a box of light bulbs and a lint remover. Um, I got this a while ago for myself, but I thought it'd be a cool prize. Power Rangers car shade. You got some paper towels. You have some liquid laundry detergent. You have some puck lights. I think they're the press ones. I'm not actually sure. Um, mug, toilet paper, one pack of the Trader Joe's mystery bags. You've got more. Uh, you got a tin of punk, uh, Pokemon cards. There's some bulk and then three brand new packs. And we have, um, these are, I don't know how many people are going to be there. So like the end prizes are ones that we can get rid of. Like we don't have to have these, but if we have 30 people, then we'll throw those in. I got this Kevin McAllister set. Um, air fresheners for your car. Kitchen garbage bags. There's a Starbucks gift card. It's for a mystery amount. It's $15. Um, we have Mandalorian socks, Game of Thrones mug. Um, so yeah, I think that this is not how a normal white elephant operates. Obviously for a normal white elephant, usually everyone brings their own gifts, but I didn't even, I didn't even think about trying to do this virtually until tonight. So I'll supply the gifts. And I've actually done this before a lot of times with the staff that I used to supervise. And I remember one time we did one where everyone had to bring a gift and we didn't have that many people so I knew it was going to go quick. So I went out to Target and bought like a second round of gifts and they were like random, like laundry detergent and things like that. And it was so funny. I did not realize because obviously like I work with young people, a lot of young adults who, who doesn't need laundry detergent. Now some people are particular about the laundry detergent they use, so it just depends. Also, some of the stuff is meant to be funny. I try to make things useful. Like, it'd be funny if you got the toilet paper, but also, like, there's a shortage of toilet paper. So, that's actually, like, I would be fine if I won that. And then, because we have so many people, we're going to make it just be two steals and then it's frozen. And what I'm going to do is, instead of people, like, getting to walk up in the middle and pick a gift, I'll just have all the numbers in a box. So, we'll randomly draw numbers. So, like... The first person who goes will randomly draw a number. And then after that, the, the second person can either steal that gift 
or we'll draw a random number for them. And then I'll showcase the ones that have been picked on this wall here. That way people can see it. And I'll track it on my paper how many times something's been stolen. I think it'll be interesting. My supervisor doesn't like or elephant very much, but I asked her if we could just try this. And then if it didn't work, we don't ever have to do it again. I won't ever bring it up. So hopefully it works. I think it's creative. I think this is one of the most creative, more creative things that I've done on Zoom. Like we've done mini games on Zoom, but I think this one will be funny. It'll be like funny, but fun. I don't know. I hope so. But if any of you guys are looking, like, this would be a fun thing to do, honestly, like, with your family, since everyone has to quarantine, or not quarantine, but, like, be away from each other. And what you do is everybody, maybe everyone brings a gift and you number them ahead of time. And then there's just one person who tracks, like, okay, gift number one, like, oh, Steph started off with it. Oh, Dana stole it from Steph. Oh, Jess stole it from Dana. Oh, Chris, you know, like. Oh, it's frozen. And there's, there's just somebody who keeps track of where the gifts are. That could totally work. This is getting spicier. I don't feel the heat. Not super spicy, but it's got a better kick to it now. All right. I just want to show you guys. I mean, I'm pretty proud that I was able to come up with this, like, tonight. And it's all just random stuff that was in my house that's new. My supervisor was like, were you, like, prepping for COVID? I'm like, no. I did just, like, my normal life. I just went into my garage and was like, look at all this stuff I have. The joys of being a hoarder. Okay, I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. 